Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is uh, Monday, uh, November 2nd, 2020. And uh, I'm getting ready to run the, uh, the COVID-19 analysis for the state of, for the U.S., for the United States of America. This is, of course, election day in, uh, in the U.S. But anyway, this, 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 you know, the, the numbers here are far more important than any, any poll numbers, okay? Any, any total votes, are, okay? You know, I want to I want to make one comment. Some people are saying that the CDC says only six percent of of the people are dying from from uh, COVID-19. I'm not sure exactly what that number is referring to. Uh, you know, overall, if, if you look at all the top three, four causes of death in the U.S., you know, COVID-19 probably comes in third or fourth. Okay, because we we haven't we haven't broken. Uh, 200,000 deaths yet, right? I don't think, have we? Yes, we have. We haven't broken 300,000 deaths yet. Let's just take let's just take a look here at some. What is the number for the top five killers in the U.S.? Okay, accidents, 167,000. Heart disease, 655,000. Cancer, auto accidents. My guess is our Alzheimer's is growing. Diabetes, of course, is, is the uh, is a silent killer. Influenza. I'm not quite sure what this is actually for. Now here's the thing: Is this a, is, when, you know, the opposite question? Is when is this of? As of what time? Okay. I'm not quite sure whether or not this is. Uh... Okay, but here's the here's the point. Question is this: Overlooking something here? I wonder if we can contact them
Okay. So, you know, my guess is this, this is probably figures per year. Uh, but the, here's the point. Yes, we've, if, if we look at the third most chronic, is what, accidents, unintentional injuries. Uh, yeah, we passed, we've passed that. Okay. But we're not remotely close to cancer. We're not remotely close to heart disease. And yet, where's the media hype? Where's the panic in the media over, over cancer deaths? Where's the, over heart disease? You know the thing about these two things, all, about the first one, heart disease? That's a lifestyle disease. We don't shame people for not getting exercise. We don't shame people for, because they're a little overweight and, they create, and, their, and their chance of dying of a heart, heart disease is greater, do we? What, that's over a million deaths between the top two causes in the U.S., okay, per year, okay? Anyway, sorry if I had a little rant here, but it, it is an interesting question. I, I'm, you know, So you know, you, you, you always got to be quite be careful when you see numbers, okay. You know what percentage of we'll get to in a minute, and hopefully in a second here, what percentage of total deaths does COVID-19 make up? Okay, that's a question we can answer later on maybe. So anyway, let's come back over here. We're under support for the U.S. As you can see, we're currently averaging 32,081 cases per day, 928 deaths, and the current mortality rate is 3.2%. Uh, Look at the mortality rate over here. What I want you to notice, this is this average 3.2%. Look at all the days when the mortality rate in the U.S. was below 3.2%. Yes, cases are continuing to climb. This blue line is a 17 to 21 day incubation period. That number comes from the University of Washington Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation website. If you come down here and you can see the deaths are continuing to be extremely low. The, the, the overall trend is still downward as far as cases, as far as deaths. Okay. Once again, look at this. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit. And this is no surprise. We can see. But here's my question for you. All this, if this is a 21-day period, then that means the 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 the, uh, the question is, where's the deaths from all these cases back over here? Where's the deaths? Okay, because this is uh, June, July, and August, maybe in September. Okay, where's those deaths over here? Unless, of course, to this right here. All right, which is an interesting idea. Zoom in on, on, on deaths. Deaths continue to be extremely low. You can see it's a slight trend up here, but it's really too early to tell what's really going on with that. Uh, the red line is the average number of cases per week. And you can see this, this is a continued thorn in our side. The, uh, maybe I should say a thorn in my flesh, as Paul would say. This is a continued problem, either, but the problem with, with this huge increase in cases, Look at all the days. This is, this is the average number of deaths per week. Look at all the weeks when the deaths were below this average. My friends, that's the good news. Okay, and it is very good news. Because those numbers don't make any sense. But you know what this means? That the sacrifices you and me are making is making a difference. Okay, is making a difference. We look at cases by month. Uh, again, October's cases did not or, or up, was up from the previous two months, but did not catch the single-day high or the monthly high back in July. Deaths, you can see, remain relatively low, considering considering the uh, the number of cases. Uh, this is 20,000 to 20 to 25, 20 to 30,000 deaths uh, over the last five months. 
But as you can see, these two months here were below these three months. All right. Uh, below these two months. <laughs> okay. And we all ignore this for right now. Anyway, so that takes care of the reports for today. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sitting through my little rant about the COVID-19 numbers in the Center for Disease Control. Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you on the next report.